Hey, this is Dr. Winters, and I want to ask you a quick question today. One quick question. Are most of your pains and problems on one side of your body? Maybe you have an ankle that rolls all the time, and maybe the knee's not good on that side, and maybe the shoulder also gives you trouble on that side. The other side of your body is just fine. Maybe you even have more symptoms on one side of the body. Maybe you sweat more under one arm than you do on the other. Maybe you have more congestion, more swelling in one leg than the other. Maybe one hand is more cold than the other. These are all signs that one side of this brain may be not as strong as the other side. So, when the brain is not firing equally, when one side is down compared to the other side, you'll see several problems. One, we'll see some posture issues. We'll see the shoulder rolled in a little bit because the, the brain doesn't allow it to uh, work these, uh, hold these extensor muscles good, so the shoulder's back. You'll see a foot toed out on the same side. Uh, we'll see, sometimes we could even see blood pressure differences side to side, or we could see temperature differences side to side. But we're gonna have more pains, more instability on the side of the brain that isn't firing as strongly. So what we will do is we'll see those posture indicators, we'll lay a person on their back, we'll check three different muscles in their legs, we'll try to push the leg in, we'll try to push the leg down, we'll try to have a person hold the leg to the table, we'll see a significant difference from left to right. And the side of the weaker muscles is the side of the weaker brain. And what we're looking there is unconscious muscle tone. So people get that confused. So yes, left side of my brain, when if I'm gonna kick a ball, the left side of my brain is gonna allow, allow me to kick a ball with my right leg. But in terms of unconscious tone, that unconscious tone is gonna come down the same side of the brain. So when we see posture off, we see muscle weakness on one side, we know that one side of the brain is not firing as strongly as the other. So let me give you just a quick view on how we would, uh, how we would address that. So the, these are common problems, and if you have more problems on one side of the body than the other, say a shoulder gets out of place, and maybe even you get a chiropractor or a physical therapist to put it back in place, and it keeps coming back out of place, you keep rolling the same ankle, physical therapy doesn't seem to work because that con unconscious muscle tone is off. So one of the things we'll do is this: these eye lights. These are special glasses. You're going to see them flash for two seconds and turn off for eight seconds. So they're gonna flash for two seconds, they're gonna turn off for eight seconds. I've got this set for a person with the right brain weaker and we would have them wear these glasses while I'm working on them. Then while I'm working on them, I'm going to stretch muscles on one side of the body differently than the other. So I'm going to stretch the joints. It doesn't make any difference if they pop or not. I'm going to stretch joints in the fingers and the wrists and the forearm. And then I'm going to stre uh, stress joints and uh, uh, muscles in the legs. And I'm going to do it in a specific way. Extensor muscles on one side, flexor muscles on the other. And we're going to get the brain firing more equally. That's going to help the unconscious muscle tone. When we help that unconscious muscle tone, you're gonna stop rolling your ankle, you're gonna stop having so much trouble with your knee and your shoulder and etc. on one side of the body more compared to the other. And that's something we see all the time, it's something you need to be aware of, but this plays out with other conditions also. Kids that are hyper, ADHD, can't focus, etc. they almost all have right brain deficiencies, meaning their right brain is not firing as strongly as the left. So almost every ADHD kid, when we lay them down and test their muscles, they're weaker on the right side. People that are, that are weaker on the left side have more of a tendency to depression. So the right side is more ADHD and anxiety. The left side is more depression. But we have lots of tools, not only like these, like these special glasses, these eye lights that a person can use in the office or even at home, but we also have tools that that are simply apps on the phone 
that uh, use some stripes that you can visually stimulate one side of the brain versus the other, and you can do that at home, and it's a $5 app on your phone. But a person has to know how to use it right. That's what we do. So if you're having more problems on one side of the body than the other, maybe one hand's more colder than the other, maybe uh, one ankle wants to roll and the other's just fine, same on the same side as that ankle, you may have a shoulder problem or an elbow problem, and it just doesn't seem to to get well with therapy, it's probably because one side of the brain is weaker than the other. If you've got a child with ADHD, it's probably the right side of the brain weaker than the left. We have to verify that. If you've got a child with or an adult with depression, it's probably the left side of the brain weaker than the right. So our approach to healthcare involves a brain-based approach and a metabolic approach at the same time, two sides of a coin. And if you're interested in that, give us a call, 270-554-2141. Uh, we're just seeing amazing results in seeing people from multiple states. And if you want to uh, get in on that to get some brain based health care and metabolic care at the same time so you can function your best, Winner's Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined.